Justice for Moody! Oh, we got a model father here! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't see anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. I'm readers warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Almost to the bridge. Oh, yes, the bridge gave out. And it need another path to the temple. Why would you come out with me alone? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. Whoa. That one's still alive. No. Look closer. Ah, Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Whatever Being it all is, the way it guard. works fast. <laughs> Wasn't me. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could Blot unite the realms Vida. against him. Quiet. Plus, I hear something. Blot Vida. Look out! <laughs> Well, they return from the dead rather quickly, don't they? <laughs> last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants, so he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we've got to find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. <laughs> Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Ah! Oh, father, use your blade. Burn them. Ah! 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 Ah!
Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. <laughs> has gotten rather good at that. <sighs> Yet another grizzly scene. I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh, no. Brother! Oh. Oh. The raiders store nodes and barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin and panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. That should help. There we go. Come on. You 
You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... The secret stories. Those they kept here. Inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is. But someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps? Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine? So? What now? Home. 
This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. The ground looks kind of cracked there. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mumia, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Brother, there's no blocking without your shield! <laughs> curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartacus, that there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. You will go. Really? But... If we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. <clears throat> Kratos! Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! How you've grown! <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me... Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter. Safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. <laughs> <laughs> 